Nation. No, I, I think I think the Tea Party the, the Tea Party people uh, they certainly believe that they're they're operating at the, in the height of responsibility because they are, as I said, they are picking the mechanism uh, that allows government to be as big as it is and do what it does. Uh, they're they're using that vote as a way to try to change the way things operate, and I, I, I get their point. I, I get their point, uh, but. The president's point is, and the Democrats' point is, that you you can you can discuss all you want how you want to change the government, but don't threaten worldwide economic catastrophe. And, and the that's way to what do it would it. be worldwide economic well, catastrophe. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think the last time that this was at issue was a couple of years ago when they were debating this in the summer of 2011. Uh, yeah, there was there was a yeah, stock was markets plunged and people were were very concerned all around mm-hmm. the world. I mean, the United States <clears throat> does not have quite the dominant economic position that it had <clears throat> after World War II until like 10, 15 years ago. Uh, China has risen. The EU, the Europe, uh, European Union, is actually a bigger economy than ours is, but we are still the 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 dollar is still the the way that the world is lubric econo- economy is lubricated, and if if we default, then who knows what happens to the value of the dollar? For example, that is the debt ceiling issue that is coming up in a right. week and a half or something like that. About, uh, October seventeenth. What seems to be going on now is a venomous attack on the health care bill that has been passed into right. law and upheld by the Supreme Court. Right. Are they separate issues? Because it seems like the Obamacare is the thing that's driving what is going on now, the shutdown of the government. Right. Well, they're, they're overlap. They're distinct, but they are overlapping. They're, they're, they're the same in the sense that uh, the Tea Party conservatives, uh, to shorthand it, view Obamacare as a, as a huge encroachment of uh, federal, the federal role in private life and in, in the economy, in the private economy. Uh, Social Security first, Medicare next, both of which, by the way, even the Tea Party conservatives now venerate for the most part. And they see Obamacare as sort of, the, from their point of view, they see it as the last desperate grasp of big government to extend its reach in an era of austerity. That's the way the Tea Party people see how it. Many, how many but the fact of is, them are there that what? are elected? How many of these Tea Party well, can, 20? Well, I'd say in the House, broadly defined, there's maybe 30 or 40 of them or more in the House. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big enough block to gum up everything that's going on. The fact is that uh, uh, even neutral observers of Obamacare will say that it, it actually, with all the spending cuts elsewhere and the taxes that, the, that are involved in it, um, that it's, it's not going to cost the federal government a lot of money. Matter of fact, some people argue that it will save the federal government money over a 10-year period. But it's not the numbers necessarily. It's it's the idea of it that drives the that drives the uh, Tea Party uh, people crazy, and also the fact that it was passed without a single Republican vote. Now that's not really o- President Obama's fault. The Republicans refused to deal on it. But we're 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 talking about a program here that's big, that's sweeping, that can be intrusive in terms of if you're a middle class person who needs help, the IRS has to look at your income structure and you know there are a lot of questions that you have to answer before you get the money and all that kind of thing and and that's the kind of thing that drives tea party people crazy i happen to think that the the problem that the republican conservatives have right now is that they've spent 30 or 40 years since the days of ronald reagan promising to cut the size of government you know we're gonna we're gonna drain the swamp we're gonna dismantle all these programs they've been pretty much either they failed at it or they've been hypocritical about it. For the most part, the earlier waves of conservatives who came here talking a big game about dismantling government did absolutely nothing to do so. As a matter of fact, did the opposite. And George W. Bush, when he was president, created a whole new prescription drug benefit and he cut taxes and, and expanded the size of government uh, enormously himself. So now you have a younger generation symbolized by people like, uh, embodied by people like Ted Cruz and Mike Lee and Rand Paul who say, you know, forget that. We're not going to do the normal legislative thing. We're going to take this thing down, you know, 
be, uh, we're, and we're going to threaten all kinds of apocalyptic things, apocalyptic things, because the regular way of doing things by electing these old-fashioned conservatives didn't work, and and they have a sort of confrontational apocalyptic sense of it that I think to some extent is 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 based on their embarrassment about the failure of earlier conservatives to do what the conservatives claimed they wanted to do. Is this going to end? Yes, I think there will have to be a deal. There will have to be a deal because uh, the uh, defaulting on 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 our obligations and, and being unable to borrow more money, having tying ourselves in chains and for, for forbidding ourselves from borrowing more money, even though yes, we're spending more than we have, uh, will cause problems around the world. And I think event the, the in the end. Uh, right on the deadline, there will be some kind of deal of some kind. That's spooky. It can is. I, can I ask one, one technical question? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> no, I can. Can we do science <laughs> tonight? <laughs> yeah, we need a parliamentary stuff. What, one like more question. Head. The yeah. deal that, that will get done 11th hour, real deal or just kick the can deal? I, I think it'll be, it will be a kick the can deal. And I, and I, I, so we can do this all again. We'll do it soon. again in six months. This, awesome. is, this, is the new, this is the new normal of the way Washington works. None of these people ever get bounced out. They all get reelected. I mean, if you ask people, they hate Congress. Oh, but my congressman is good. <laughs> no, if there, no, no, there was a, if there was there's an election today, yeah, and there was an it. option, if there, and there was a tab for get them all out, that would win, I think. And uh, there was a lot, got, a lot of Democrats lost in in 2010. That's yeah. and that's when the Tea Party came in. So yes, change does happen. We'll take a break. When we come back, we will have old guy radio. I am Tony Corn.